Hey Aries, and welcome to your December 2019 general tarot forecast. This is Sky here lighting a candle for you with a Sagittarius lighter. As um, Jupiter is leaving Sagittarius this month, so I figured it's a nice symbolism to do. So, um, yeah, we are changing this month. There are a lot of changes here. There are a lot of... Um, Things are really changing, especially for the fire signs, because we will go through Sagittarius season here, and there'll be kind of a last little dose of, you know, fire energy. But as we leave Sag season here, uh, moving into uh, January, guys, fire's gone, okay? Um, the candle is kind of blown out, and the candle is kind of, um, you know, not going to be lit after that. So yeah, here's the time in December, especially for the fire signs, where it's so important to remember you know, what motivates you, what your desires are, what your end game is, what compels you as a person. These are the types of things that you're really going to be working on because Jupiter will change sign, it will go into Capricorn, and that will make things really uh, get sturdy and really get set in place. It really sets the standard. So I think um, Aries might kind of be in a place where you've known what you've wanted to do, you've known what your end game is, you've known what your... Um, what your essence as a person is, but maybe you haven't really been able to follow through on it, or maybe it hasn't really come together in a way that it's become the reality. But that's basically what December is about. It's about starting to make it become a reality, starting to make it become, um, you know, real, tangible. So make sure that you're lighting plenty of candles. Make sure you're keeping, you know, fire around you in a safe way. You know, don't leave candles unattended, all of that. Um, it's so not, it's a superstitious bad luck thing to leave candles unattended. Um, I do it sometimes, but it's not a good thing to do. So don't, don't let your house burn down or something. But, but yeah, the fire energy, we've had Jupiter and Sag all of 2019. It's really given us a lot of, um, you know, compelling visual experiences, a lot of, you know, gut instincts, a lot of like, yeah, I want to move forward with this. And you can't lose that. There is something, whenever a planet is in its home sign, you have to take something with you from that time for the next period until it reaches that again. So for Jupiter, that's 12 years. So there's something here during this time, Aries, that you need to take with you for the next 12 years. So I want you to really be cognizant of what that might be. I want you to be really aware of what signs or symbols are coming into your life that might represent that. Um, and keep warm. Keep yourself warm. It's a cold time. It's going to be a harsh winter for those of you who are in the northern hemisphere. Um, this winter is not going to play. This winter is going to be very cold. Um, so keep the warmth around you. Keep dressed warm. Keep keep your body warm. That is something that I'm he hearing for Aries. The fire signs are specifically maybe feeling quite cold this winter. So your body might be um, a little bit like frigid or it's like not really good and cold, um, basically. So watch out for that and keep warm. And let's go ahead and get into your tarot forecast for the month. So I already shuffled your cards, but I'm going to cut them here and we'll just get into um, our typical general spread for the month. Okay. Um, let's see, general energies for Aries in the month of December 2019. Okay, week number one in December, Aries, you guys have Queen of Cups, rooted down by Queen of Pentacles. That's beautiful. I love that synergy for you guys, actually. I really like that. So it's that melding of the water and earth energy. Both of these cards deal so much with authenticity, deal so much with... Um, it's the merging of emotional authenticity and the merging of physical authenticity. So you are, um, <laughs> this is really beautiful. Um, what I was just talking about in the intuitive messages, you're finally merging your desires and your, you know, inner emotional wants with the real world. So it's not about living a false life where you're only authentic in your internal space, where you're only speaking to yourself truly inside, but it's making that manifest in the outer world too. So for some of you, this could definitely look like moving. This could definitely look like getting your own space or getting a new space or um, being maybe alone for a little while as well. Both of these cards do sometimes represent solitude. But one thing that you can't do um, in this time is mistreat your body or um, watch out for like holiday, like uh, overeating or anything like that, because um, foods that don't agree with you or things that are bad for your body are going to really affect your mood and also affect your weight and things like that. You're going to be extra sensitive to things like that. So really important to keep your healthy diet and healthy lifestyle 
um, this month for sure, especially in that first week. So what, whatever you're doing in the first week, it needs to be unquestionably good for you. And it needs to be um, real. It needs to be emotionally soothing. Um, not going to holiday events just because people expect you. If you want to go to them, that's wonderful. You know, that's following that, like, you know, um, authenticity. But if you are expected to be places that you don't want to be, I wouldn't do it. That's going to give you a lot of tension. Um, so week number two in December, Aries, uh, the Six of Swords. That's beautiful. Okay, rooted down by Eight of Pentacles. Wow. I love this for you guys. So it's all upright so far, no reversals. You guys have really started to maybe shift your energy, really started to um, uh, create a change, really started to smooth into, uh, sorry, to sail into smoother waters. I was about to say smooth into, I don't, I don't know what I was about to say, guys. It's Mercury retrograde while I'm still filming this, so hopefully my words come through in a way that is comprehensible. Oh my gosh, do you guys hear my southern accent coming out too? That's funny. Hello, Mercury. Um, <laughs> yeah, so um, sailing into smoother waters. Um, things get easier, okay? Moving. Again, this is also echoing moving. So for those of you who have been contemplating a move... Either it needs to be completely planned out here, or it needs to happen here. This is a more difficult time of the year to move. You know, it's so cold, it's the holidays, you know, everyone's spending more money. So it's not the most supported time, like, logically to move, but something on the internal world has to move or change, or at least represent that in some way, okay? Um, also, a change in career could be indicated to Eight of Pentacles is about what you're putting all of your time into, what you're forging with your hands, what you're creating, what you're creating for a long time. So long-term careers, um, there could it could either get easier, like this long-term career gets easier, or it changes, okay? So that's a message for you this month. If it's not getting easier, it has to change. If it's not getting more natural, more authentic, it has to change. Um, again, there's a last opportunity during Sagittarius season for fiery people especially Aries, to hone in on this fire energy and to push away from things that are uh, not yet entrenched, but things become entrenched, okay, as we move into January, as we get past Capricorn season. Um, there are some people who can wait, who can plan it out, who can um, have plans to make a change. That can work for some people, but it's kind of dangerous territory for others um, if you struggle with following through. Um, so if you've needed to move, if you've needed to change the career, as long as you plan it out here, that's okay. Um, as long as it's happening, you know, within the next three or four months. But um, really, it might be great for some of you just to follow through and to, to make the change now, okay? Week number three, Aries, you have the hero font rooted down by five of cups. So this is right around Christmas. Um, be sure to go and check out my Patreon page because I'm going to be doing a Patreon exclusive um, coffee chat about the holidays and about the energy behind the holidays and about like navigating the holidays, you know, whether you're alone during the holidays or whether you're with family, what it all means and, and healing from that. Um, that's something I'm going to be working on soon because I think that's important this year. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm feeling here. Some of you might have to be alone during Christmas. Some of you might be... Um, you know, not feeling connected to the holidays in the same way. That's just what I'm getting intuitively. Um, and I think that that is also collective. Like, that's not just you guys, but everyone is feeling differently about the holidays this year. It's a different energy than it's been. Again, Jupiter leaves Sagittarius right before the holidays. Again, Jupiter and Sag is very much the essence of, like, a holiday. In a way, all of 2019 has been a holiday. Um, you know, it is the essence of celebration, the essence of all of that type of thing. So right when the technical holidays go in place... Jupiter's changed to Capricorn, which is much more austere, much more frugal, much more like um, alone as well. So it's kind of, it might feel like, um, I don't know, gatherings might feel a little bit just different. It, for some people, it can be really good. But I'm sensing for Aries, there might just be something around that. that I keep kind of coming back to that for you guys. So, um, you know, the hero font is a religious figure as well. So for those of you who have religious practice, it's um, a good time to deepen that in a true way, to deepen that, you know, not, not just about celebration or about the surface of it, but deepening your relationship to uh, your religion could be very rewarding during that time. If Especially if there is sadness, especially if there is some kind of grief, you know, maybe some of you are having the first holiday after the passing of a loved one, that could be also coming up. Or even if it's not like a death, like it could be the first holiday since something happened and it's making you like second guess things. I, I am feeling the energy of second guessing in the third week. So yeah, this is always a potent opportunity when this type of energy comes up to um, 
to second guess and to look around and think, okay, is this what my life is about? Is this what, what represents me? You know, for some of you, it could be that sort of shadow journey coming on, um, delving into shadow work. I did a video about that, which I will link below. Maybe some of you already got to see it. Um, it's one of those kind of uh, controversial subjects in the spiritual world. Um, but there could definitely be a type of like shadow light journey coming in for you as well there. Um, one way or another, I think there is going to be a key. Um, always, I say with the hero font, there's a key. There's, because um, you've got the crossed keys. So something that's been denied or something that's been inaccessible can always become accessible when the hero font comes up, especially upright. So, and everything's upright this month. So I like, I like the um, transparency that is here for you this month. That is one thing that will be good. Things will be clear. Things will be transparent. Week number four, Aries, you guys have, okay, I spoke too soon. Page of Wands reversed, <laughs> um, rooted down by Six of Cups. So yeah, someone might want closure from you. You might really be craving closure. You might really be um, curious to um, understand why you stopped wanting what you achieved or why why your um, aspirations became mm, guilty or nonplussing. There's something about that. And, and it might have to do with a relationship from the past and you seek closure by trying to fix this trauma from the past. You're trying to like... Um, actually, you're trying to become aspirational again. So I do want to um, point that out for you guys that it's not about the people from your past. It's not about, you know, making things right. It's not about um, closure. It's about finding inspiration, motivation, and aspiration again. That's your true purpose here in this month. So don't get fooled that it's about like, um, you know, falling in love again, or it's about, um, I mean, because love can be very motivating. It can be very um, inspirational. Um, so that can happen, but try to not trick yourself up. This is coming from within this feeling of lack of closure or this feeling of, you know, you know, the water's being really perilous and you're like, it has to get smoother. I have to make changes. If you can just work within, if you can just strengthen your connection to the universe, to God, to spirit, whatever it is for you, um, that will take you so much further than anything that anybody else can give you during this time. It, Aries is one of those signs this month. It's not everybody who, if they're seeking, you know, to be healed or helped by people around them, that's going to come back to a null. That's going to come back to a difficulty. That's going to come back to that five of cups energy. Um, so yeah, great, great time for you, Aries, to um, find your motivation again through yourself, through making your mind stronger, through making your emotions stronger, and through, um, you know, rediscovering your creativity, because something about that is a little bit also reversed for you this month. Um, so you're you're creating differently, you're creating in a new way. So that's going to be a rediscovery process for you. And that key is available, that, that is accessible for you now. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much what I'm feeling for Aries in the month of December. Um, you know, it all just comes back to sailing into smoother territory. I love this first week for you. If you can go through the first week, you know, merging together this um, emotionally clear, mature, um, authentic, with the physically mature, authentic, real, healthy, you will walk through all of this with an incredible power. So yeah, anyway, Aries, if you guys would like to see your central theme for the month of December, as well as your two power cards, um, what December's all wrapping around, what it hinges on, as well as, you know, what you can embrace to move through this with more power and to, you know, up your game, you know, get that spiritual um, level up here. Uh, Y'all can check out the extended reading, which I will put in the center of your screen right here. And um, yeah, that will be over on Patreon. Uh, there's a lot in the description box below for uh, seeing other videos that are similar, as well as my new ebook and all those types of things are around. So thank you guys so much for being here. Remember your fire, you're a fire sign, keep warm. I'm sending you much love, much light. Let's get into that extended over on Patreon. Bye.